A question of character. Little Mac is the most accomplished 17-year-old boxer to ever grace the ring. Little Mac has a fierce right and a dedicated tippy-toe left. Little Mac is a prodigious pugilist. He is gifted beyond measure. Little Mac swiftly dodges the attacks. Little Mac stands at a slight 48 height and only 107 pounds. Close to the heaviness of a 100 pound catfish. But there's never been a catfish to box like Little Mac. Uppercut. Little Mac was born in the Bronx with an Italian heritage. His passion is boxing. His heart is true. And when beaten, his face is lumpy. But his trainer, Jerome Doc Lewis, never gives up hope. Regardless, if both of Little Mac's eyes are swollen shut and his boxing smile has turned into a boxing frown, he will pat Little Mac. Jerome Doc Lewis is a former 1954 ex-heavyweight champion fighter that happened to meet Little Mac by chance after being rejected by over 200 trainers due to his height and minor status. He then taught him everything he knows about boxing, which of course is running after a bike. Jerome Doc Lewis is not concerned with punching bags or speed bags or any kind of bags associated with boxing. Jerome Doc Lewis is concerned with having a bike and making Little Mac chase after it by day or by night. This will teach Little Mac to fight. Little Mac is a conservative fighter, choosing not to expose his barely legal chest within the ring. He wears a modest black tank top, revealing only his arms and green gloves. Little Mac matches those gloves with green trunks. He may change this outfit for different boxing circuits or photo opportunities. And sometimes his gloves Gloves and trunks will appear white for inexplicable reasons. It is the mystery of the ring. Noting his 4'8 height, Little Mac may have trouble reaching his opponent's face. One of the most critical elements of winning a boxing match. But he does not let his stature limit him. Little Mac is unafraid of lifting his heels to attack. Little Mac works the body. Luckily, for Little Mac's sake, he receives priceless advice from Jerome Doc Lewis, who tells him to stick and move and to dodge. However, sometimes he offers better advice, like performing an uppercut at just the right moment. Sadly, Jerome Doc Lewis also seems to be in a mental decline due to his earlier fighting years. When Little Mac desperately screams for help, in a failing match. Jerome Doc Lewis states to join the Nintendo Fun Club today, Mac. This is no time to join the Nintendo Fun Club. As well, this essentially reveals the reason why he believes that running after a bicycle would prepare Little Mac for Mike Tyson. On the other hand, Little Mac himself is gifted with the ability to find a boxer's tails. He will watch for their winks, smiles, open mouths, and shining turban medallions. Furthermore, Little Mac is not above exploiting his opponent's obvious glaring abdominal injury. He views bandages as punch points. His rivals will shout at Jerome Doc Lewis to zip his lip. They will also laugh with the full extent of their bellies at Little Mac. But he does not let the jeers of his adversaries affect him. He remains persistent toward winning the match. Even after his skin and outfit emits a pinkish hue from being worn out, Little Mac will dodge his heart back into the match, thrusting his punch, or by beating the living stars out of his opponent, which provide him with a oh. His belly jabs, nimble footwork, and tippy-toe straights allow him to defeat the freakishly large fighters of the World Video Boxing Association and become champion of the world Then get destroyed by Mike Tyson. Why would you put such a child against this madman? Little Mac falls. Daddy, come back home. Daddy. 
Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. A character.